preparation of potassium dichromate from chromite ore. I will teach you the complete concept of preparation of potassium dichromate. At the end of this lecture, I will teach you my personal trick to learn preparation of potassium dichromate in a very short time. Firstly, let me teach you writing chromate ion and dichromate ion. In the chromate ion, there is one chromium and there are four oxygen. Remember that it carries minus two charge. While in the dichromate ion, the dye reminds me that there are two chromium and there are seven oxygen. Remember that it also carries minus two charge. Secondly, the color of chromate ion is yellow and the color of dichromate ion is orange. Now, if I ask you to write sodium chromate and sodium dichromate, can you write them? Well, it is super easy. I write sodium. We know that it carries positive one charge and the chromate ion is CrO4. It carries minus two charge. Now I cross the respective charges. I get Na2CrO4. Secondly, in case of sodium dichromate, I write sodium. It carries positive one charge. In case of dichromate, I write Cr2O7 and it carries minus two charge. I cross the respective charges. I get Na2Cr2O7. So this is sodium chromate and this is sodium dichromate. Secondly, you must learn writing chromite ore. Chromite ore is made from two types of oxides. The first one is ferrous oxide and the second one is chromium oxide. Ferrous oxide is FeO and it carries minus two charge. Chromium oxide is Cr2O3 it carries minus two charge. Now I cross the respective charges. I get FeO Cr2O3. Remember the formula of chromite ore, which is very important in order to prepare potassium dichromate. To summarize this whole concept, we learned writing sodium chromate, sodium dichromate, and chromite ore. Now we will learn preparation of potassium dichromate. Remember that we prepare potassium dichromate in three simple steps. The first step is preparation of sodium chromate. To do so, the chromite ore is mixed with sodium carbonate in the presence of excess of oxygen gas. Now I take chromite ore. It is FeO Cr2O3. And I write oxygen gas. Here the chromite ores break down and this oxygen reacts with ferrous oxide to form Fe2O3. This is ferric oxide. Secondly, this chromite part breaks down and we get Cr2O3 which is chromium oxide. Now how to balance this chemical equation? Well, we know that there are four elements present in chromite ore. I mean, the first element is iron, the second element is oxygen, the third element is chromium, and the fourth element is again oxygen. So there are four elements present in chromite ore. These four elements reminds me to start balancing this equation from four. So I write here four. Now at the right hand side, we can see that there are two iron atoms present. While at the left hand side, there are four iron atoms present. So I write here two. Thirdly, we can see that at the left hand side, there are two and two four is equal to eight chromium atoms. So there are eight atoms of chromium present at the right hand side. There are only two chromium atoms. So I write here four. Hence this is the balanced chemical equation. In the second part, I take this for chromium oxide. 
and I write it here. Now according to the given statement, this chromium oxide react with sodium carbonate. We know that this sodium react with chromium oxide to form sodium chromate. I write Na2CrO4. This carbonate reminds me that the carbon dioxide gas is formed. Now how to balance this chemical equation? Well, it is super easy. I double this for. I write here 8, 8 and 8. So this is the complete balanced chemical equation. Now I will cancel the spectator ion. We can see that there are 4 chromium oxide present at the right hand side and there are also 4 chromium oxide present at the left hand side. So I cancel these 4 chromium oxide and I also cancel these 4 chromium oxide. Now I write the remaining reactants and products. 4 chromite plus oxygen gas plus add sodium carbonate. The products are 2 iron oxide plus add sodium chromate plus add carbon dioxide. So this is the reaction of first step. And the second step, we convert sodium chromate into sodium dichromate. To do so, sodium chromate is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid. I take this sodium chromate and I write it here. We know that according to the given statement, this sodium chromate reacts with H2SO4. Remember that when this sodium chromate reacts with H2SO4, there are two important products formed. Firstly, we get sodium dichromate which is sodium 2 Cr2O7 plus we get sodium sulfate. Remember that water H2O is also formed as a byproduct. Now how to balance this chemical equation? It is super easy. This is second step. So I write here 2 with the sodium chromate. Hence, this equation is balanced. Now, in the third step, we convert sodium dichromate into potassium dichromate. To do so, sodium dichromate is treated with potassium chloride. I take sodium dichromate and I write it here. According to the given statement, sodium dichromate reacts with potassium chloride. Remember that here, this potassium displaces this sodium. I get potassium dichromate plus sodium chloride. Now how to balance this chemical equation? It is super easy. We can see that at the right hand side there are two potassium. At the left hand side there is only one potassium. So I write here two. Secondly, at the left hand side we can see that there are two sodium, while at the right hand side there is only one sodium. So I write here two. Hence this is the complete balanced chemical equation. Thus by this way we get potassium dichromate. To summarize this whole concept, we learn that in the first step sodium chromate is formed and the second step sodium dichromate is formed and the third step, potassium dichromate is formed. Hence noted down this whole concept of preparation of sodium dichromate. Finally, let me teach you my personal trick of preparation of potassium dichromate. We know that we prepare potassium dichromate in three steps. In the first step, sodium chromate is formed. I take chromite ore. We know that we react chromite ore with sodium carbonate in presence of excess of oxygen. So I write here sodium carbonate plus oxygen gas. We know that sodium chromite is formed. So I write Na2CrO4 plus this iron oxide react with the oxygen and we get iron oxide. Lastly, this carbonate reminds me carbon dioxide. So I write here carbon dioxide. Now how to balance this chemical equation? We know that 
and the chromite ore, there are four elements. So I write here four. Now I double this four. I write here eight. What about this oxygen? It is super easy. Just count all the elements. Iron is first element. Oxygen is second element. Chromium is the third element. Then oxygen is the fourth element. Sodium is the fifth element. Carbon is the sixth element. And this oxygen is the seventh element. So I write here seven. We can see that at the left hand side, there are 16 sodium. So I write here eight. Now at the left hand side, there are four iron. While at the right hand side, there are two iron. So I write here two. Lastly, we can see that at the left hand side, there are eight carbon atoms. While at the right hand side, there is one carbon atom. So I write here eight. Thus this is the complete balanced chemical equation. In the second step, we convert sodium chromate into sodium dichromate. I write here sodium chromate, Na2CrO4. We know that this sodium chromate reacts with sulfuric acid H2SO4. Here, we already know that sodium dichromate is formed. So, I write here Na2Cr2O7 plus this sodium also react with sulfate ion. So, sodium sulfate is formed. The third product is water H2O. Now, how to balance this chemical equation? We already know that the second step means just try to with the sodium chromate. So, this is complete balanced chemical equation. In the third step, we convert sodium dichromate into potassium dichromate. I write here sodium dichromate. We know that sodium dichromate is Na2Cr2O7 plus we treat it with potassium chloride. I get potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 plus I get sodium chloride. Now at the right hand side there are two potassium. At the left hand side there is one potassium. I write here two. Left hand side there are two sodium while at the right hand side there is one sodium. So I write here two. Thus by this way we can easily write all three steps of preparation of potassium dichromate.